in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as pragmatics. Pragmatics is the study of the use of language in context. Listeners and audience, day before yesterday, we started the topic that is presupposition. In presupposition, I told you about existential presupposition. Today, our topic is the next type of presupposition and that is factual presupposition. What is fact to presupposition. What are some examples of presupposition uh, about fact to presupposition? Be with me and listen to this topic from beginning until end. Listeners and ideas, whenever we are talking about fact to presupposition, fact to presupposition is an assumption that something is true due to, <coughs> sorry, the presence of Certain words. I'm repeating. Factual presupposition is an assumption that something is true due to the presence of certain words. Certain verbs or the construction of certain verbs in sentences indicate that something is true in fact. For example, I did not realize, I did not realize that you were ill or you are ill. I did not realize that you were ill. So, listeners and ideas here. The assumption is you were L. So here the presupposition is you were L and the utterance is fact and true because of the word realize. So here a, a something is true due to the presence of certain word. So here this word indicate that the utterance is true. Another example is he was not aware, he was not aware that Aslam had gone to city. He was not aware that Aslam has gone to, uh, had gone to city. Listeners and writers, here the presupposition is that Aslam had gone to city. <clears throat> and the utterance is fact and true due to the presence of this verb that is aware. Another example, Aslam Regrets to tell. Aslam regret to tell him or regret telling him. It means that he was told or he told. Listeners and ideas. Here the presence of regret, the presence of uh, uh, aware and the presence of realize, these utterances are true. So now you know about uh, fact to presupposition, that fact to presupposition as an assumption that something is true due to the presence of certain verbs. Hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.